My name is Dan Elliott. I work at Tyndale House Publishers and I'm the uh, editorial director. Tyndale is located in the United States. I'm going to describe the editorial process that we go through in uh, developing manuscripts that are published by Tyndale. So the step one is for the editor to read the manuscript. It's very tempting for editors as soon as they get a manuscript to start going in and start correcting errors or whatever. We want a an editor to read through the entire manuscript so you get a feel for the whole manuscript and understand what the author is uh, trying to do with the entire presentation. Um, we're asking big questions. What is the book about? Or uh, what is the intended audience? Um, what is the overarching message of the book? So we're taking notes and just uh, we're paying attention on that first reading to what our experience is as a reader. Step two, we are working on establishing a relationship with the author. It is important for an editor not to think about just working on the words that are on paper, but, but to realize that we are in ministry together with an author. So we want to understand the author, get to know their family, their background. We want to understand what else they have already written. We want to understand what their ministry heart is so that they see us as a partner in their ministry. Having that kind of a relationship goes a long way to helping us maneuver through the conflict that inevitably rises when we're starting to change the words that they are so attached to. The third step in the editorial process is to write a written review. So we've read the manuscript once, we've made some notes as we went along, we've established a relationship with the author, but now we're going to write a detailed written review. The written review um, contains three parts. First, we list the strengths of the manuscript. We are looking for what the author does well. Every manuscript has strengths. And so we are looking for the places where the author has communicated particularly effectively, where um, we're looking for anything that we can do to encourage the author. Because the next part of the review is identifying the manuscript's weaknesses. Every author is attached to her manuscript or his manuscript. And so there's naturally some defensiveness that comes up as we start to express the concerns that we have about the manuscript, the ways we feel that the manuscript needs to change. So on the basis of the relationship that we have with the author, on the basis of the strengths that we've encouraged uh, the author to see, we um, are describing the strength or the weaknesses, the areas where we feel like the manuscript could be developed. And then that leads to the third part of the review, which is we're looking to make specific recommendations ways that the author could be or that the book could be reorganized or or sharpened or focused. The recommendations are going to focus on what the author can do and the things that the editor can do. So with that written review we have a tool to discuss the manuscript with anybody else in-house that is within the publishing company who needs to have a voice. Uh, could be another editor, could be a publisher or an executive, um, there's usually multiple people who have a vested interest in what the editor's opinion is of this manuscript. So we share the review in-house. It's a confidential document. We're able to have frank discussions about the, the uh, manuscript and that's a great purpose of the uh, written review. Step four in the editorial process is writing an editorial letter to the author. We start with our written review, but then we make a copy of it and start to adapt it as a personal letter from, from the um, editor to the author. We um, make sure to identify the strengths of the manuscript and to offer praise to the author. If you just jump in and offer criticisms, um, any author is going to become discouraged. We are very clear and specific about what we want the author to do. Many times once an author has turned in a manuscript to the publishing company, they feel like their work is done. So we are trying to give them an idea that there's some more to be done in, as we go through the editorial process. We are focusing on the big picture and we're making clear um, the uh, time frame for the next steps. So step five, we get the author involved. We coach the author through the process. We stay very in very close touch with the author as they're making their revisions. Um, we are focused on big picture issues. Um, so step six, we're focusing on the big picture issues. Step seven, we are editing through looking at the details. And then 
as we are uh, the so the author's been working on the manuscript. We are working on the manuscript as the editor. We're working back and forth. And finally, step eight, we are getting the author's approval of the final edited manuscript. So um, with that process in mind, we take in a new manuscript and we develop it and get it ready to publish. It's a very effective process and I'm happy to share that with you today.